Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have t cubed minus t square equals to 48 and we solve this problem for the values of t. So here first we need to focus on the right hand side and here we have t cubed minus t square equals to this is 48 and we write this 48 as 64 minus 16. Okay, we know that 64 minus 16 becomes here 48 and now uh, here uh, we rewrite these terms as this is t cubed minus t square. So this is t square equals to this is 64 and we write 64 as 4 cubed and we write 16 as 4 square. And now here further we need to move these two terms in the left hand side. And it will be written as t cubed minus t square this is plus 4 cubed becomes minus 4 cubed this is minus 4 square becomes plus 4 square and this whole equals to 0 and now here in the next step we have uh, and now we will just uh, uh, make the pair of cubic term with cubic term and the square term with square term so the cubic terms are this is t cubed minus 4 cubed and these two be the uh, square term so here we need to take common minus sign and we get the terms are t square minus 4 square and this is equals to 0 so here further we uh, need to use here uh, two algebraic formula so in in the first term we apply here this cubic formula a cubed minus b cubed it, it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so uh, here we can apply uh, here you apply this cubic formula and in this term we apply the square formula you know that a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we need these two formulas to solve the above equation uh, so uh, here first we can apply this cubic formula here so that our above equation is written as this is a minus b so here our a is uh, t and b is 4 it will become t minus 4 into uh, we have this is t square plus 4t plus 4 square and minus here we apply this square identity it will be written as t minus 4 times of t plus 4 and this is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need to take common t minus 4 and when you take common t minus 4 the remaining terms are here we get t square plus 4t and this 4 square equals to 16 and here when you take common t minus 4 we get the uh, these term are minus times of t plus 4 we multiply this negative sign on these two terms and it will be written as minus t minus 4 equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, we need to uh, add or subtract the uh, like terms uh, so we write it as t minus 4 times of this is t square and this 4t minus t becomes here 3t and 16 minus 4 becomes plus 12 and this is equals to 0 and now in the next step we will just divide this equation into the two cases so that the first case is we write t minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we write t square plus 3t plus 12 equals to 0 and in this case we easily get the value of t is equals to 4 and similarly here in order to find the values of t from this equation uh, here you see that this is the quadratic equation in t variable so that uh, we will apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 3 and c equals to 12 so here our quadratic formula is stated as t equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square 
minus 4 times of AC divided by 2 times of A. This is the upper quadratic formula and now here we will substitute the values of A, B and C. So first you see here the value of B is 3. So when you put it here it will become minus 3 plus minus square root of B square. B is 3 square minus 4 times of A is 1 and C is 12 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 okay so further uh, we have this is minus 3 plus minus square root of 3 square 3 square equals to 9 minus 4 times of 12 equals to 48 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 so that here we need more simplifications and it will be written as t equals to minus 3 plus minus here you see that 9 minus 48 equals to minus 39 because 39 plus 9 becomes here 48 and it is divided by 2. So here in the next step we will just uh, separate this uh, square root on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 3 plus minus square root of 39 and square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 okay so we have t is equals to minus 3 plus minus uh, this is square root of 39 and we know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so here you see that these are the two complex roots uh, these are the complex roots but now here in this question we will just find the real roots so that we will rejected these complex roots okay so we have the real roots uh, real root be the only one root and it is t equals to 4 this is the only one real root of this question and now here we need to verify um, this root is this value of t satisfy the given question statement or not so we copy down the given question statement it is t cubed minus t squared equals to 48 and here we substitute the value of this t just a real value only so it is 4 cubed minus 4 square equals to 48 this implies that this is 4 cubed equals to 64 minus 4 square equals to 16 equals to 48 and 16 minus 64 minus 16 equals to 48 equals to 48 okay so this shows that the value of t satisfies the given question statement so if in your question uh, the, the question given question is that you find the, all the root of the given equation then uh, you just consider that these two complex roots and this is the one real root okay so if you find all roots then these are three roots if you find only real roots then this is the only real root this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.